Hi there. I'm going to do three things with this little video. First, I'm going to set the context about why we should expect companies to contribute to a viable future. Second of all, I'm going to explain a little bit about how that approach to doing so has been handled by companies to date. And third, I'll show an alternative approach that I think might be an improvement. All of this is available and explained on my website on the materiality page here. I'll give a little bit of an indication about where the doors are to, to go look for more information as I take us through this tour. So just on the context, companies have an impact on all of us. They have essentially become the commons and they do publish a lot of information. There's a lot of sustainability activity going on, but it's not always balanced or clear. The public is not always engaged in the way they could or should be. And nature isn't even asked, even though the impacts on the environment are significant. There is a tool used by professionals to uh, move this agenda forward, to become more sustainable. It's called materiality or an, a materiality assessment. And it seeks to identify key issues to help companies prioritize, create better disclosures. However, I've been involved in a lot of materiality assessments across sectors and regions, and it's my feeling that these are not really based in reality. They perpetuate an approach that shoehorns reality into a corporate agenda. I don't think it's intentionally evil, but it's not capable of redesigning corporate purpose. So it ends up being ornamental and expensive as well as confidential. So I propose another approach and I'm drawing on the tactics used in materiality assessments with a few key differences. Lots more explained here about the methodology. I have an FAQ page here that's really touching on some of the key differences. I'll briefly touch on those here. A materiality assessment based in reality assumes a predefined set of issues. It does not spend time trying to organize those issues, which is where a lot of time goes now. It's also completely transparent. All of the stakeholder input, who the stakeholders were, what their views were, where they came from, is available for anybody to see. The intention of the assessment is to sense check the direction of travel of the company in relation to the future we want, not to organize more disclosures. And lastly, materiality examines the business model, how the company makes money, as opposed to simply creating more disclosures. And so you can see a lot more information about that approach, including the methodology. The full deck that explains that is here and goes into quite a bit of detail, free for you to have a look at and do with as you choose. Let's take a look at what that means when we actually apply it. So. I uh, created a prototype and I'll do a few more. I chose Google Alphabet as the company to prototype. And the assessment basically does a few things. It creates a snapshot of how and if the company is contributing to or undermining future we want, um, offers a snapshot of what the company does, what it says it does in relation to how it actually earns money, as well as, um, an overview of what the stakeholders have said. And for anybody who would like to know more, they can click on these, this interactive matrix and actually go to the conversations and watch, listen, read the transcripts, etc. I realize that there's a lot of subjectivity here from uh, what the desired future is to how to compile the information. So there is a long way to go. And uh, there's a lot more information that I plan to pull together here. However, I can stand behind the fact with some confidence that if we aren't even asking how or if a company is contributing to a regenerative economy, then the likelihood that it is, is extremely low. So continuing to pretend that the most comprehensive, extensive and expensive ESG tools in the world are pointing us in the right direction is not something I'm comfortable with. Instead of complaining about it, I thought, why don't I try to illustrate the point? and show a possible shift in approach. I'm really curious what you think.